Vikings. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, day 3A of the Fine Arts Schedule. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lovely day today, Miklos, because Wednesdays are always lovely. Yeah, you're right. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday. We wish a very joyous and extraordinary birthday to Christopher C. in second grade, Beatrice G. in third grade, Brian R. in sixth grade, and Emma E. in kindergarten. Happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday. Today in history, on February 8th, 1915, D.W. Griffiths, who was an American film director and producer, made a controversial epic, The Birth of a Nation, premiered, which premiered in Los Angeles. I mean, Los Angeles. And, and just to be clear, it's, it's not a book, it's actually a, a movie. movie. But that's an old movie, if you ask me. Booker T. Washington, who lived from 1856 to 1915, was born into slavery and rose to become a leading African-American intellectual of the 19th century, founding Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute, which is now Tuskegee University, in 1881, and the National Negro Business League two decades later. Here is a video about him. That's frozen, so we're going to move on. Just a few technical difficulties, but that's okay. Viking sale. Five dollar sale bucks can be earned by your entire class in fine arts and the cafeteria. When your class earns 120 of the five dollar sale bucks, your teacher should tell Miss Aliaga a hundred dollars is a chance to spin the prize wheel for a prize for your whole class. That seems very interesting, so make sure you are a very good Viking. Follow the sale expectations and don't get into trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's fixed, so we're going to be going back. Okay, let's go video. back to Booger T. Washington's video. Enjoy. Never mind. Oh, no. Without question, Booker T. Washington was the single most well-known African-American of his time and may have been the most celebrated black person in the entire world. Future educator and orator, Booker T. Washington was born a slave on a Virginia plantation on April 5th, 1856. He had to work as a young child, and so he had to juggle hours walking miles and miles to school and then rush back to work. It was very difficult, but he was determined, and that's how he learned to read and write. Washington was allowed to attend school while working as a servant. And in 1872, he befriended the founder of Hampton Institute, who offered him a scholarship to the school. The emphasis at that school was on industrial education, on crafts, on technical skills, teaching blacks and the former slaves how to make themselves valuable to the community in a very literal way. That was a very, very nice video. Even though we can't finish it all today, let's move on to today's National Day. Today we celebrate National Boy Scout Day to honor the Boy Scouts who are trustworthy, loyal, and helpful. Founded in 1910 by American W.T. Boys, the Boy Scouts of America have helped shape many of our nation's leaders. Have you ever been in the Boy Scouts? I mean, does being in the Boy Scouts for one day count? It sure does, Miklos, but hey. uh, to be honest myself, I've never been in the boys, Boy Scouts. Never. Never? Well, one, it's, today is Wonder Wednesday. So Send us a question that you wonder about. We will research it, and we will feature your idea in a future VTV episode. Stay tuned for next week for Ms. DePaulo's class question, How do tigers hunt their prey? Oh, I can't wait to see that question's answer. It's going to be so entertaining. And for a Viking view today, the kindergarten...
The Verde K through A Multicultural Club recently worked with Miss Anderson, our school counselor, to create lanterns to celebrate Lunar New Year. Oh, I I can't believe it. These look so amazing. You guys are so talented. I'm proud of you. Proud of you all. I know that means so much to you guys. Brain bull question of the day. What is the fastest moving thing in the universe? I'm not sure what's the fastest moving thing in the universe, but I'm going to think with all of my brain. I'm pretty sure it's light. I, I'm pretty sure I saw this somewhere on a book. And what do you know it is light? It travels 186 miles an hour. Thousand miles an hour. 186 is a sports car. Valentine's Day gram. Send your friend a Valentine's Day message and chocolate. One dollar per gram. Find us in the courtyard from February 6th to 10th. Remember, first come, first, first served. served. Verdi Kids Heart Challenge continues. Make sure to register at heart.org slash khc to earn your prizes. We will not be watching this video and we'll be moving on. World news, deep freeze. The U.S. braces for record-breaking wind chills. Nearly 100 million people in Canada and the U.S. brace for some of the coldest air on Earth. Scientists say that this weather can cause frostbite in 10 minutes. That's very chilling, if you ask me. But I hope they're all okay. And the announcements for today, we have Middle School Art Club, 4th Grade PLC, Course for Elementary School, Drama Club, basketball and to continue along we also have chess club and element elementary sec me grades four to five poetry and drama club it's in room 124 and drama and musical club which is right next door to room 145 and we will see you next time guys have a super viking day yeah have a super viking day and remember to be kind to others bye